your license needs saving Do the wise thing Call Wise Man Lawyers Does your license need saving Do the wise thing Call Wise Man Lawyers Don't face that court alone Let the wise man team get you back on the road Does your license need saving Do the wise thing Call the wise man team Black Wise Man Lawyers Alright, today I'm at Toowoomba Magistrates Court. Client was charged with repeat drug driving. Uh, there was uh, two drugs found in their system, cannabis and methamphetamine, uh, and it was a repeat, as I said, drug driving offence. Uh, there's two types of drug driving. The more serious is what's called uh, drive under the influence of a drug, meaning you've consumed it, you're still high, uh, and you're still under the influence of that drug. Uh, the lesser charge is what's called drive whilst relevant drug present, meaning you've had it at some point, the effects have worn off, uh, but there's still traces of it in your system. Um, my client was charged with the lesser of the two, uh, but there was traces of two different drugs found in his system, cannabis and uh, methamphetamine ice. Uh, he had a previous, uh, within the last five years, uh, late last year, uh, of, of the same charge of drive whilst relevant drug present. Um, basically, uh, if you've got uh, previous in the last five years, the uh, penalty range has increased. So uh, if it's a first offence of relevant drug present um, or there's no history in the last five years, worst case is a nine month loss of license, mandatory minimum is one month. But if you've uh, got previous, well, it depends on how much previous uh, as to how much it goes up. But if you've got one previous, which my client does have, uh, the maximum bumps up to 18 months, mandatory minimum becomes three months. Um, and because you've got previous in the last five years and as a consequence of that you've lost your license in the last five years you cannot get a drug driving work license with a drug driving work license basically if you get charged with drive whilst relevant drug present and you haven't lost your license in the last five years and you're the holder of an open queensland license and you satisfy a number of other prerequisites uh you can apply for a drug driving work license and the what that is is basically you still get a disqualification but the magistrate uh, can, if you properly apply and argue the application correctly, uh, make an order overlapping the disqualification, allowing you to continue driving for work purposes only. So you're disqualified, but during the hours of, for example, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday, you can continue driving for work purposes only. But my client was not eligible to apply today because of that previous. So worst case today was an 18-month disqualification, mandatory minimum three months, no work license eligibility. So my job was one of getting it down as low as possible. And as I've already stressed, the lowest possible disqualification was three months. Uh, with regards to preparing, I've got my client to uh, complete a reformatory course. We get all of our clients to do it. Uh, it can be done online. Uh, I asked him to get some character references based on a template we would provide each of our clients, uh, guiding the referee as to who it needs to be addressed to and the key points that need to be addressed. There's no point going to court with a reference address to whom it may concern and talking about how fantastic the person is, yet it makes no reference to the fact that they're aware of the charge or at the very least that they're aware that it's being uh, attended in court. Uh, you might as well head up a shopping list. Uh, the magistrate will literally push it to the side if it does not clearly uh, indicate that it's been written for that purpose. Um, I got instructions prior to today, prepared my submissions uh, prior to today, drove up from Brisbane this morning, met the client in a conference room, I ran through the uh, procedure, you know, who stands where, what he can expect the prosecutor to say. I went through my submissions. Uh, basically, uh, you know, I'm trying to convince the magistrate that he's a good person, notwithstanding, uh, discuss the underlying issues that have led to this uh, ongoing offending, etc. cetera. Um, I spoke about what he learned at the course and all the rest of it. Uh, I spoke on my feet for a moderate amount of time, not a lengthy period. Uh, the short, uh, version is though that I was able to persuade the magistrate to give the mandatory minimum three months. So three months disqualification, modest fine. Uh, client's very happy given it was literally the best possible outcome. Uh, he just obviously doesn't drive for the next three months, uh, renews his license at the end of it, and then he's uh, back on the road uh, as per normal in three months' time. So as I said, worst case 18 months, mandatory minimum three months. I got him three months and a modest fine. He's very happy. I'm Andrew Wiseman at Toowoomba Magistrates Court. Thanks for watching.
Hi, I'm Andrew Wiseman from Wiseman Lawyers, Queensland's only truly dedicated drug, alcohol and traffic events law firm. If you face loss of licence, loss of vehicle imprisonment or anything in between at any court in Queensland, we can and will help you today. This is our specialty. This is all we do. Give us a call, 1300 947 352. I look forward to helping you resolve your issue today. Don't face that court alone. Let the wise man team get you back on the road. Does your license need saving? Do the wise thing.